Hello everyone! Today we are in Bern, in the capital of Switzerland, which is located in the west central part of the country. A very beautiful Ara river flows here. In Bern, people speak German and the symbol of the city is a bear. This is exactly the place where you can meet a bear almost in the city center. We will try to find one together today. This is the most beautiful place we have ever seen, wrote Goethe during his stay in Bern in 1779. After almost 250 years, the city continues to delight us with its beauty. Bern is not just an outwardly beautiful city, Bern is charming. It is a city with a huge cultural heritage and an attitude to life that can only be felt in Bern. Although Bern is considered as the capital of the Switzerland, there is no law confirming it. In the law, it is just simply mentioned that the Federal Assembly meets in Bern, and the official seat of the Federal Council, the departments and the Federal Chancery is the city of Bern. About 130,000 people live here. Interestingly, a third of the city of Bern is covered by parks, and the old town of Bern has been a UNESCO World Heritage Site since 1983. The city was founded in 1191 by the Duke of Zellingen. For this purpose, a peninsula formed by a band of the Ar River was chosen. In the turbulent times of the Middle Ages, it was strategically the perfect place. The presence of forests turned out to be another weighty argument in favor of building a new city in this place, since the material for construction didn't need to be transported from afar. Initially, the city was built of oak forest, but in 1405 a fire destroyed wooden buildings and Bern was rebuilt from local stone. In 1848, Bern became the seat of government. It became the federal center of Switzerland or a city of federal significance. Why Bern and not Zurich or Geneva? Because firstly, Bern played an important role in the political life of the Federation. Secondly, geographically it was conveniently located in the center of the country. And thirdly, its territory was a kind of a zone between two cultural traditions of German-speaking and French-speaking Switzerland. The historical buildings of the city didn't imply the presence of squares, which was typical for the era of Zellinger. However, the streets were originally wide and this made it possible to arrange peasant markets on them and conduct military exercises. The modern elongated rectangular shape of the squares appeared much later, on the side of the buried moats that previously surrounded the fortress walls. One of the main attractions of Bern is the clock tower Zeit Glocken Tour. It used to be a defensive tower with 3 meter thick walls, serving as a gate to the old town. The eastern facade of the tower is decorated with a famous clock of the 16th century created by the master Caspar Brunner. The clock shows not only the time, but also the day of the week, the month, the zodiac sign and the phase of the moon. Every hour people gather in front of the clock tower and watch a unique performance. A parade of bears, a chester and a golden roster. The bridge Kirchenfeldbrücke connects the old town with Helvetia Platz. 
where several central museums are located. For example, Kunsthalle, where interesting exhibitions are held, historical museum and Einstein museum. Bern Historical Museum has a rich collection of exhibitions devoted to this history, archaeology and ethnography. The Bern Historical Museum is one of the Switzerland's most important museums with a collection of around half a million specimens of universal historical significance. The items on display date from the periods extending from the Stone Age to the present date. In the modern annex on the territory of the museum, there are fascinating temporary exhibitions on various topics. The integrated Einstein Museum presents the life of the Nobel Prize winning physicist who revolutionized the general understanding of space and time with his theory of relativity. The great physicist Albert Einstein spent seven years of his life in Bern. Above the monotonous tiled roofs of the old town, over the 100-meter tower of the cathedral. Its construction took several centuries. In 1893, the largest late medieval church in Switzerland was finally completed. With the exception for the top of the tower, the builders mainly used Bernese sandstone. Sandstone from Lower Saxony, which is very resistant to the weather condition, was specially used in the last stages of the construction work. Behind me is the cathedral, and I want to go to the very top. So now we will take the stairs. Various sources report that you need to take 250 or even 350 steps. Let's count how many there are in reality. Well, I made it. Honestly, I've lost count of the steps, so it's going to remain a secret. It is so beautiful that I wanted to stop after each step, look out the window and take a picture. 
Obviously, I fully recommend to visit this place and observe the wonderful burn from the very top. Look at this beauty. It's something unreal. It was definitely worth it getting here. By the way, the steps are quite easy to overcome, since they are not as big. This is only a threatening number, like 200, 300. In fact, they are small and you pass them easily. Bear Cathedral, with 100 meter high cathedral tower, is one of the city's most important landmarks. The beautiful view of the old town and of the mountains of the Bernese Oberland is definitely worth it to climb up here. Actually, it was much more difficult to go down than up, because, as I said, the stairs are not wide, but uh, spiral, and at some point I felt dizzy and had to stop many times, but it was such an experience. I don't even know how else to describe it. I just highly recommend to visit it. The oldest church in the city is a French church. This church is not only a place for prayers, but also attracts everyone who is interested in architecture, art and culture. In Bern there are a lot of beautiful streets with ancient buildings and fountains. With 6 km of arcade galleries, Bern is also proud of the longest indoor shopping promenade in Europe. And although Bern has excellent public transport, it is better to explore the city center on foot. Bern is also famous for the fact that there are hundreds of different fountains throughout the city. And there is a great life hack for travelers. The water in most of the fountains is drinkable, so you can always easily get some water for free. Not to mention the fact that the fountains are very beautiful and they have been preserved from different centuries. Bern's symbol is a bear. According to legend, Duke von Zeringen, choosing the name of the future city, decided to christen it with the name of the first animal he met, which turned out to be a bear. The bear, translated into German, would be bear. Nowhere there are so many images of bear as in Bern. Bears adorn the coat of arms and flag of burn. They can be seen on all kinds of postcards, in the windows of souvenir shops, they flaunt on the chimes of the clock tower and in the sculptural compositions of fountains. There is also a bear park in Bern, where brown bears Finn, Björk and Ursina live. Unfortunately, today I couldn't see them, but I have some pictures from the past years.
birds have been living in this park since 2009, on the slope of Ar, which offers a beautiful view of the old town of Bern. Now the birds have a small forest, bushes, caves and even a spacious pool. On a plot of more than 5000 square meters, birds can climb, fish and play or just relax. Before the construction of the park, the birds had only a bear pit, which today is connected to the park by a tunnel. Bern is a city that is pleasant to visit at any time of the year. I will definitely come back here and show all the things that I didn't have time to show today. Believe me, there is a lot left behind the sun. So subscribe to the channel not to miss the new videos. See you again. Bye bye.